All right, guys, I have a special guest with me here in the studio, Lindy, Lindsay Schultz. You're the deputy director of the Tahoe Rim Trail Association. You know, when I think of the Tahoe Rim Trail Association, I think of you guys more in the summer. I hear about you all summer long. Everybody's hiking the Tahoe Rim Trail. But you actually have a lot going on in the winter, don't you? Uh, we do. Um, obviously, we have a lot of uh, a lot of our programming, volunteer, trail building, um, a lot of our outreach, all that is happening in the summer. Um, but um, we are almost just as busy, if not busier, in the winter. Oh, wow. A, to plan for summer, yes. um, because it takes a nonprofit all year round to plan for four months of of snow-free trail, basically. Right. Um, but um, why not uh, utilize our fabulous uh, volunteer guides and uh, take some folks out in the winter as well. Very cool. So what do you guys have planned this winter? Uh, so, well, this weekend we have winter um, snow camping 101, oh, cool. uh, which is a classic that we do every single winter. Mm -hmm. um, introductory course to get uh, novice backpackers, um, novice just outdoor uh, folks that like to sleep in the outdoor, mm -hmm. Um, to introduce a new season to their to their repertoire of, yeah. of outdoor recreation and um, really hold their hand and, and teach them the basics. Right. Um, snow camping can be some of the most magical, peaceful time out in the winter. It's the, there's a stillness and a smell to the air that you just cannot get uh -huh. any other time. And you can safely do it. You don't even have to get super deep into the backcountry to to enjoy yourself. Right, yeah. right, absolutely. And I imagine it is something though that you don't just get into yourself. You need professionals to kind of show you what to do and help you because there's a lot of room for error, right? So that's kind of what you guys do is help people safely yeah. recreate in the winter. Yeah, definitely. There is a lot of room for error. Um, you know, the um, the backcountry doesn't, uh, I mean, what was it, four degrees this morning? Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, so, so the kind of things that we review is uh, sleep shelters, how to stay warm, um, how, to build, how, how to build a platform, gear, of course, mm -hmm. um, which can get pricey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, survival rules of three, which is one of my favorites. That is, don't leave the group, stay with the group. If you're not with the group, get back to the group. Uh, That's it. <laughs> I like it. Easy to remember. <laughs> totally. Oh, uh, navigation, um, cooking, how to build a kitchen, um, clothing, all sorts of tips for staying. Oh, leave no trace, of course. How to right. use the restroom. Right. That's oh, a big one. That's a big one. Yes. Yeah. Like year round. Year round. I've been totally. a little upset the last couple backpacking trips I've gone I bet. out on, and people need to head over to the website and learn more about that. And on that note, what is your website if people want to get more information about what you guys do? That is TahoeRimTrail.org. Okay. Um, and we have a plethora of, of community information at, at everyone's fingertips, okay. uh, including all of our programs. Wonderful. And you know, you're going to come back later on in the show and talk to us more about this because there is so much that you guys do. There's so yeah. much you can cover. Uh, and we only have a few minutes right now. So we're going to be checking in with Lindsay later on the show.